Plus family, I have a few things I want I need to share with you over the course of the next few days. I have some correction, a correction to make in relation to the three days of darkness, and um, I'm going to share some scripture with you, and then I will tell you what that error was. So, our Heavenly Father, I ask you, Father, to bless this time. I ask that you this be your will and not my will. These be yours, your words and not my words. I pray this in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Okay, Matthew 4. All these are found in Matthew. Matthew 4, verses 8 to 10. Again, the devil taketh him up into exceeding high mountain and showeth him all kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and saith unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. And saith Jesus unto him, Get thee, hen thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and only shalt thou serve. Matthew 5, verses 4, 20, 43 to 48. Ye have heard that it is, hath been said that thou shalt love thy neighbor and, hath, and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies, and bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you, and persecute you. That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh the sun to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. For if ye love them that love you, what reward have ye? Do not, do not even the publicans do the same? If ye salute your brother only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans do? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Matthew 7 verses 13 to 14. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth into life, and few there be that find it. Alright, so I was led, the Holy Spirit led me to these scriptures, and um, I wasn't even sure, I didn't remember where in the word they were, until I had to do this. And so, um, they're all in Matthew. So Matthew's a very good book to read at this point, in relation to what the expectations are, in relation to sin. There is no great or less sin. I know people like to say that murder is bad, but people who say that murder is bad a lot of times are um, can be liars, can be you know they can steal. You know, there's there's no there's no great sin. The consequence may be different um, in the eternal damnation, but the the sin is sin. Okay, sin is sin. And so I've been. I guess my calling seems to be to kind of one of my things is to kind of highlight what it is that our heavenly Father kind of called to my attention was a sin that I was doing all like me not wearing makeup me not you know doing all that kind of stuff to me he led me to do that because it wasn't of him okay I know we we uh, want to focus on the word completely but he alludes to a lot of other things besides the commandments we have to ask him to reveal to us the secrets that are alluded to in the word when I just talked about the three days of darkness, I mentioned that our Heavenly Father was gracious and merciful and that he was going to pour out his Holy Spirit on everyone. He will be pouring out his Holy Spirit, but the understanding I have now is that he won't be pouring it out on everyone. He will be picking and choosing who will be pouring his Spirit out on. And it makes sense to me because there's a lot of people right now, even including people that are in the church that say they're the Christians who are into witchcraft. People who say they serve him, who are cold, who are hard-hearted, who um, pick and choose who they're going to be kind to, who um, mislead people, who are aggressive. I could go on and on. And our Heavenly Father, I could judge and say, like, you know, that person's not going to hell, that person's going to hell, blah, blah, blah. But, of course, that hasn't been revealed to me, and only our, happy Father, our Heavenly Father knows every heart, right? So the Scripture says that we need to love our enemies, um, and and um, so what reward would we have? He also calls us to be perfect. And he, the word kind of describes what that would look like. Repentance is a big part of that because he knows that we are, we are flawed, we are flesh. And that we need the Holy Spirit to, to, um, to deal with the temptations in this world. This world, remember, I read in the scripture, this world is, has many kingdoms. And they all belong to Lucifer. Satan, the devil. 
So I'm just calling to warn you. Um, for those of you who have been saying, you know, where, where is, when is it happening? It hasn't happened yet. And actually, as a matter of fact, there's been people who have, someone made a video about me. I was actually kind of shocked. <laughs> I was, I'm thinking only me. There's such a, there's so many other much more prestigious, beautiful ch uh, video uh, channels that are saying the same thing in a much more better setting, you know, much better lighting. Um, I rely more so on uh, daylight to do this. That's why I'm outside in, in the middle of winter. And uh, was alluding that what I was saying was she wasn't based on scripture. If anyone is still interested and curious about the three days of darkness, Joel two, go to Joel two. That alone will will say in the Lord the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is a time that we're coming. So it it says that in Joel two, and it describes the darkness and then that part as well. And our heavenly Father has done it before. So um, I'm not going to address this again. I keep saying I'm not going to, but I I really. Just know that my channel is being monitored. So a lot of times when people add things on my channel and uh, direct me to do th uh, to see certain things, there are just tools of the enemy. They, they know scripture, but the devil knows scripture too. So I'm not phased by people who come on my channel and profess scripture and are contradicting what I'm sharing. I'm sharing what I'm sharing because I want to help. I'm sharing what I'm sharing because our Heavenly Father loves you. I'm going. A lot of us are going through persecution, a lot of persecution. And hardship to share what we're sharing so it's up to you to hear it it's not my job to sway you either way I'm just telling you right now that I know some people are not going to make it right now I don't know who they are but I know people some people their hearts have been hardened they they are when the three days of darkness happens they're going to be the ones out there who are going to be scammering and clamoring for the the special the little needs that they that they should have been looking for ahead of time and um, they're going to be fully possessed fully and completely so for those of you who have to heed the warning and are aware and see what's happening on the globe right now it's it's time to kind of get our act together to really repent and to expect big things 2020 is, is a prophetic significant year okay all right i have other things to share i'll show them next time um hopefully tomorrow or the next day today uh, i'm not too sure i'm gonna try to get this up today I hope you are all doing well and you're hanging in there. The news is very creepy. There's a lot of things going on there. The, I will I will be touching on the uh, the um, the bombing of the plane and the sequence of events and why it's significant in relation to the three days of darkness. All right, in the next video. All right, until next, remember you're made marvelously. I love you. Our Heavenly Father loves you so much more than I could ever. Until next time, be blessed.